The Killing of Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, Commander, Qasem Soleimani, brings the end of the Mullah's regional expansionism and warmongering closer at a critical moment in the region. In order to protect American lives, President Trump ordered the preemptive action of assassinating the symbol of Iran's regional power. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo further explained the reason behind this defensive action and the inevitability of assassinating Soleimani. The intelligence assessment made clear that no action, allowing Soleimani to continue his plotting and his planning, his terror campaign, created more risk than taking the action that we took last week, Pompeo said. The fundamental pillars upon which the theocracy in Iran is established are the export of terrorism and domestic repression. Secretary Pompeo's 12 plus 1 demands for Iran has targeted one of these pillars. Amid mass anti-Iran protests in Iraq, it seems that the U.S. has fathomed the urgency of forming a strategy to handle the IRGC based on its true nature. Indeed the mullahs have got stuck between the devil and the deep blue sea. The regime needs to make up its broken hegemony for its ideological forces inside the country and regional proxies, particularly in Iraq. Thus, the IRGC commanders have repeated the same old rhetoric of attacking U.S. interests in the region. Predictably and defense advisor to the regime's supreme leader threatened to target the U.S. military bases in the region. Moreover the regime's proxies in Iraq, such as Kataib Hezbollah, threatened to take revenge over the U.S. airstrikes against the group in Iraq and Syria. The response for sure will be military and against military sites, IRGC Brigadier General Hussein Dehan told CNN on Sunday. However, Dehan paradoxically hinted to the crystal clear fact that the theocracy is neither able nor willing to start a war with the West. Let me tell you one thing, our leadership has officially announced that we have never been seeking war and we will not be seeking war, he said. In reality both Trump and the Iranian regime do view war as a serious threat to the existence of their political future. The U.S. presidential election is coming and Trump has had enough challenges with his domestic foes but he fully understands that showing weakness against Iran will put his re-election at risk. However, Trump will have a fair chance of re-election even in the case of a possible controlled confrontation with the Mullahs. But the Western allies should unite if the Mullahs make a strategic mistake and the UK has sent a Royal Navy nuclear-powered submarine armed with Tomahawk cruise missiles to the Middle East if it is necessary to protect British national interests against the IRGC. The story is completely different in Iran. For a domestically loathed dictatorial reg for more on this story, visit the news article link.